probably the most known of all Slavic legendary characters, Baba Yaga is a hag from Russian folklore, a supernatural being who appears as a deformed or ferocious looking old woman. The expression is sometimes used to refer to a character type that is either a fearful crone, or a wise old woman. Based on the folklore and legends depicting her figure, Baba Yaga rode in the air with a large mortar instead of the customary broomstick used by common witches, pushing it along with a pestle on the ground and in the air. She used a birch wood broom to sweep away all traces of her travels. The mortar and pestle represent the destructive and the protective aspects of the old hag, since it has been said that Slavic people traditionally used these implements not only to grind grain but also to prepare flax for spinning, with connotations of eradication and defense respectively. The specific folklore character called Baba Yaga was a bony, seemingly an ancient woman with immaculate white hair, an abnormal long nose, and very long sharp teeth occasionally made of iron, with canines so long that they protrude over her lips. She frequently bears the epithet, Baba Yaga Koshchanaya Noga, or Baba Yaga Bony Legs because of her thinness and endless hunger, often for the human flesh. And when she was inside of her dwelling, she may be found stretched out over the stove, reaching from one corner of the hut to another. There was more than one Baba Yaga. There were in fact three of them which, in many tales are often depicted as sisters, carrying the same name and living in the same damned house. In Slavic folklore, almost every story about Baba Yaga describes her dwelling as a cottage in the most remote and inaccessible part of a dense forest, deep in the woods, in a hut which was animated by the sinister power of the old woman. A hut usually described as standing upon giant chicken legs rotating either freely in the wind, or when some unheard word is spoken. This rotation was said to keep visitors out until Baba Yaga ordered the hut to stand still, using a magical phrase. Turn your back to the forest, your front to me. Some versions of the legend say that the cottage was not fixed to the ground and could run around on its legs, which made her in some occasion the mistress of the forest. Surrounding the hut, was a circle of stakes made from the bones of her victims previously eaten, and which resembles a fence that surrounded her home. Each stake was topped by a human skull, whose eyes light up at night. These bones are symbolic not only to Baba Yaga's association with death, but also of her role as the source of new life which she brews from the bones of the dead. Those bones might also indicate that she has a very strong connection with the spirit world. Some even go so far as to say that her house guarded the point where the two worlds, the world of the living and that of the dead meet. This may explain why in some cases she is benevolent to humans, her purpose being not to send people into the afterlife, but rather to stop the dead from escaping. Baba Yaga ate unwanted guests and displayed these souvenirs to warn others to stay away from her residence, as seeking her out was portrayed as to be a dangerous act. The visitors who were brave enough to reach her grim hut, were asked whether they had come of their own free will or had been sent. Anyone fearful or honest enough to admit being sent was eaten right away by the fierce hag. She started by inducing nightmares and hallucinations as well as deadly diseases into her victims, and once they are dead, she harvests their corpses which she turned into her dinner. However, Baba Yaga seemed to admire the bold and did not harm the pure of heart. Although she was very reluctant about answering questions from strangers, since she aged one year every time she did, she accepted giving advice and magical gifts to those who were wise enough to be polite to her or, to those who perversely dominated her. Therefore, Baba Yaga commonly appeared as either a donor, a villain, or maybe altogether an ambiguous character, who helped or caused troubles to those that encountered her or seek her out. She was usually portrayed as malevolent, but she is occasionally a benefactress. The Russian folktale, Vasilisa the Beautiful, clearly demonstrates both the malevolent and benevolent sides of Baba Yaga and her powers. In this story, Vasilisa was a girl whose father remarried to a wicked woman, with equally unkind daughters. 
after being sent on an errand to Baba Yaga by her stepmother, in the hope she would be eaten by the old witch, Vasilisa was enslaved by the old woman who accepted a request from the young girl but assigned three impossible tasks in return, saying that she will be eaten if she fails. But when Vasilisa has completed all the tasks using a magical doll that she received from her birth mother, Baba Yaga entered in a violent rage when she found out about the help, and resolved to eat Vasilisa. Fortunately, the young girl managed to escape thanks to the maternal blessing that has been applied to the doll, and the help of the old hag's servants to whom Vasilisa has been kind to. On her way out the dwelling of Baba Yaga, the girl grabbed one of the magical skull that served on the fence and whose eyes' socket glowed during nighttime, which she used as a torch to see in the darkness of the night. But, once she got home and encountered her family, the skull started shining and got rid of her cruel stepmother and stepsisters, burning them to ashes. In other accounts, after Vasilisa has completed the tasks, she was given the magical skull as a reward by Baba Yaga herself. That same tale hints the fact that originally Baba Yaga may have been a divine figure that ruled over the elements. Since she was far too earthly to be considered a true deity, she was never portrayed as a goddess. Yet, in her earliest form, she displayed an aspect of being the patroness of herds and herdsmen, the goddess of horses and the patron goddess of farmers and farming. Her oldest personification, however, is a mistress of all animals, a bird goddess as reflected by the chicken legs under her house, with which she is as one. In the story, Vasilisa saw three strange figures, a white horseman, who represent the day, a red horseman who is the sun, and a black horseman representing the night. All three seemed to serve Baba Yaga. She was as well served by three magical pairs of hands that she called, my soul friends. There are other clues in the folklore which demonstrate that Baba Yaga was once considered as a demigod of nature relating with the cycle of life and death. She is mentioned twice among other figures largely from Slavic tradition. The second of the two mentions, occurs within a list of Slavic gods and beings next to their presumed equivalents in Roman mythology. But much of pagan Russian mythology has been lost, so it is impossible to prove that she was ever anything more than just a folkloric witch. Baba Yaga is closely associated to Kashe the Deathless, the immortal human whose destiny was guided by the dualistic aspects of the fierce old woman. She conferred on him immortality but also gives him a soul thus making him mortal. She was also the controlling force behind the multi-headed, fire-breathing dragon Chudo Yudo, who watched over the water of life and death, a role that has often led the dragon to be considered a bizarre offspring of the witch. Stories about Baba Yaga have been used for teaching children the importance of reverence for the delicacy of nature and the spirit world. They were also used by worried parents in an attempt to frighten children from wandering far from home, thus making them behave. The fierce hag is sometimes shown as an antagonist, and sometimes as a source of guidance. There are stories where she helps people with their quests, and stories in which she kidnaps children and threaten to eat them. Baba Yaga was identified as one of the most memorable and distinctive figures in Eastern European folklore. It has been observed that she is enigmatic, and often exhibits striking ambiguity. She has appeared in hundreds if not thousands of folktales in Belarus, Russia and elsewhere predating the 18th century. In the narratives in which Baba Yaga appears, she displays a variety of typical attributes, a turning chicken-legged hut, a mortar, a pestle, and a broom. According to some scholars, neither of these interpretations significantly changes the image of Baba Yaga being familiar of folktales, either she can be seen as a literal evil witch or as a figurative witch. Both literal and figurative understandings of Baba Yaga are documented in the 19th century, and were probably present at the time prints depicting her character were made. If you've enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, a comment and share. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you won't miss out. Feel free to suggest topics you want me to cover in my next videos. And as always, stay curious.